Hey guys, it's Agent Juicy. In this video, we're going to basically look at how to install any Android 2.3.3 application on your BlackBerry smartphone, whether it be the Z10, Q10, Q5, uh, Z5, anything basically. So the first thing that we're going to do and is basically uh, make sure your computer is updated. So you go to the bottom right hand corner and you're going to look for the little flag and under the flag, you're going to basically hit uh, this button and you're going to make sure everything is updated restart the computer and then come back and watch this but okay so after you finish that what i want you to do is basically go to this website it's uh, oracle.com i'll put the, all the links in the description down below so what you're going to do is basically go to this website and under this website you're going to make sure that you select uh accept license agreements so you're going to hit that then you're gonna update the, the, your Java for your computer, whichever it is. So you select the appropriate one. When that's finished, you're gonna make sure that is downloaded and it's installed on your computer. Then you're gonna move to the next step. The next step is to download this Mediafire file and when you, the link is in, in the description down below. It's labeled, this might be a virus. This is just to get your attention, but uh, it's not a virus. I have it on my computer. I probably have like six of them on my computer. Uh, anyway, so you hit download. It's going to go to your downloads or your downloads folder <clears throat> to be specific. You're just going to leave it there. You're not going to open that file up. Just download it and just leave it as is for the moment. Do not, do not open the file. Please don't open the file. Okay. As yet. <laughs> Then you're gonna to go to this website right here, or I'll put the link in the description below as number three. And then you're gonna basically select for BlackBerry OS 10 and BlackBerry 10 and higher. You're gonna put in your first name. You're gonna put in your, uh, you're gonna put it, make sure you put in your first name, last name, company, email, and then your country and stuff like that. For the company, just put your first name and last name together as one. It'd just be a lot easier and then put your country as whether it's Qatar or Saudi I'm not sure if Saudi Arabia is there but uh, if it isn't there maybe you could probably use a proxy and uh, if not just use any other island that you could possibly see just use Jamaica or Canada or something uh, so anyways you're gonna put in your registration pin now uh, th they said right here your pin can be six to ten digits lowercase alphanumerical code so make sure one, it's in lowercase. You could put anything here. My personal suggestion to you, and I strongly suggest this to you, and I strongly suggest this to you, and I strongly suggest this to you, is use the device pin. If you don't know what a device pin is, you should not do this video anymore. If you do, continue. Basically, your device pin, though, it's uh, your BBM pin, if you want to call it. Enter in your BBM pin right here. And then you're going to hit I have read and agree this and you're going to hit submit. When you submit this, it's going to look like this. Basically, the completed form is, should look like this. And when you submit it, you're going to go to this website here. Well, this page here, which says BlackBerry code. So you could basically relax for two hours, sleep, have a beer, uh, depending on what you want. So after you finish that, what you're going to do now is you're going to wait for the keys. Uh, my keys took me about 45 minutes to get it. If you have absolutely no patience for 45 minutes or two hours, do not do this anymore. Okay, I sound like the Duff guy from Simpsons. Okay, so uh, after that's done, what I want you to do now, it's, you remember that file that you downloaded from my Mediafire account, the one that I said has a virus? I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, so what you're gonna do now, you're, you're gonna open up that file and you're gonna put it on your desktop right here. Then you're going to right click on it and what you're going to do it's basically extract the files when you're extracting the files you're just going to basically get it in a new folder you're going to hit ok uh, you can use 7-zip to extract or this would be fine i guess so where is my folder oh th there it is so i'll just drag it here so this is it right here you're going to open it up and make sure that there are seven files inside of it so one two three four five six seven or 5 plus 2 is 7, or 4 plus 3 is 7, or 6 plus 1 is 7. I <laughs> just get Okay, so basically this is the uh, 7 files that you're going to need. So in this file, what you're going to find here, it's basically uh, a notepad. This is basically the commands that you're going to have to basically set it up with. So the first thing, wherever you see unknown, you're going to replace it with something else, or the pin that I gave you. 
So basically, uh, for, for the pass pin, I'll just show you. Remember that pin that I told you use your device pin as before? If you don't remember, I'll show it to you just to be sure. So remember this in the email that I told you? Registration pin, make sure and put in that. Yeah, make sure you put in that now. Make sure it's all in lowercase. For the pass key, this is basically, uh, this is a password you make up and remember. Like I said, just for simplicity, use the device pin so you don't have, so you only have to remember one code. So you put in that, and for then the device pin, this is the actual phone pin or the BlackBerry BBM pin, if you want to call it. Make sure and put in that as well. And for the device IP address, so make sure your phone, your BlackBerry Z10 or Q10 or R10 or whatever friggin' phone you have, make sure it's on on the Wi-Fi, your Wi-Fi network. So provided that it's on now, and I'll probably split the video and put in like maybe a video. This page right here, you're gonna pull down from the top of the menu. You're gonna hit uh, settings. Under settings now, you're gonna hit network connections. Under network connections, you're gonna select Wi-Fi. Under Wi-Fi now, what you're going to basically hit is on, you're going to select your Wi-Fi. And if that does not open up for you, you see, you'll see on the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a line with uh, two circle, uh, two lines with two circles, one on either side. You're going to select that. And on that, you're basically going to basically uh, scroll down. You're going to see dot, you're going to see prompt to save the Wi-Fi hotspot. Don't select that. You're going to see diagnostic information. You're going to basically tap on that. Then you're going to tap on internet connections. Under internet connections, you're going to see an IP address. Uh, and this is my IP address right now. It's going to be, when I reset my router, it's going to change. So basically, you're going to use that IP address that I sh showed you how to get. And the same thing that you see right here. No spaces between the dots. No, no mistakes, guys. Make sure this is totally correct. And no spaces between the equal signs, okay? So mine's was basically 16924. And uh, it's 201, okay? And basically for the device pass now, uh, if you set, if you, you're gonna have to go to your development mode and how do you go to development mode? Go look at my video on how to sideload Instagram. I'll show you how to turn on development mode. But if you're not, if you're not new to it, basically pull down the drag from the drop down menu again, you're gonna hit settings and under settings, you're gonna go to the main menu. Well, the setting, the system settings, you're gonna scroll all the way down to security and privacy. Under security and privacy, you're going to tap on it. You're going to scroll all the way down to development mode. And you're going to see use development mode. Most likely, it'll be off. So make sure you turn that on. They're going to ask you for a password. And you're going to have to enter that password twice. Remember that password. That password is going to be your device pass key for development mode. So um, my, devi my, my device pass, it's uh, bberry. OK. This is mine, yours will be different, obviously. Then you're gonna make sure and double check this and make sure everything is saved. Save it. You're gonna exit this. Make sure, double check it, everything is perfectly 100%. It's all kosher, fresh, you know? It's all awesome. Make sure and then hit that save button and then after that's done, you're practically almost there. So now you're gonna go to your email. Hopefully by now your uh, device, the, the file has, has come in. So the first one is basically uh, this client file right here, the CSJ file. And then you're going to have another CSJ file. I'm going to look for it. So this is the CSJ file number one and CSJ file number two. You're going to basically download those two. It's going to go to your downloads folder. And in the downloads folder, now what I want you to do, so this is the folder that you just extracted. So in the downloads folder, however you access it, like this is how I access mine. I'm gonna get these two client right here. These are the two files. You're gonna take it, drag them, and drop them in the white space. White space. Drag and drop in the white space. Do not copy and paste them. Drag them and paste them in the white empty space. If you drag them and drop them on any of these, you just messed up, <laughs> okay? So um, that being said now, you're gonna drag and copy select these and you're going to take them and you're going to drop them right on top you see how i'm doing right there on top of the register token i'm not going to do it again because then it's going to mess up and that i won't have my uh my my 
my tokens working anymore. So when you do this now, drag them and drop them on the register. So then when you do that, it's going to look like this. Okay, well, not this, but this is how it's supposed to look. Oh, shoot. So you're going to get this window pop up, and it's going to show you like a lot of coding and files and lines and stuff like that. And then you, eventually you're going to basically see this. It, it is going to take probably like less than a minute. Uh, CSK files has created. So this means your BlackBerry is now capable of running any Android application. So I'm going to stop the video here. That way it's very short. In my next video now, that I'll probably put an annotation right somewhere here on this on the screen or something, and it's going to be how to get uh, Android applications for your BlackBerry and how to install them. So um, I'll just give you a little glimpse of what happened. So I'm just going to exit this. By the way, it's not a virus, so I'm just going to delete this file now, and I'm going to show you the one that I did. And these are the files that I've been working on, just like a little preview. So you can see all the apps that I have here, Subway Surfer, Miami, with the mod. So that's pretty awesome. So that's working. Instagram 4.2, Flipboard, Maps, Google Maps, all Waze, uh, Ra Rail Rush, uh, Evernote, Viber, and Debug Token. So um, when you download... Okay. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave your questions down below. If you do it this way, you would have absolutely no problems it should work with you on the first try so i suggest you do re-watch this video before you even start it and uh thank you for watching guys and uh stick around within a couple hours i should have a next video up or within 24 hours on how to get uh viber i'll actually put up the viber file for you now uh with this uh so you could get it um agent juicy i'm out i want to slap the camera but i can't <laughs> uh see you guys later uh, hit the like button. Subscribe. Like. 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 I'm just get fucked.